toys, collectibles. They are huge. And today we're gonna see how much you know about them and how much our Smoshcast knows about them. Oh yeah. This is Bepperty and the category is toys. So our, our contestants today are Spencer, Tommy, Arasha, and Courtney. Who here thinks they know the most about toys and collectibles? I love to play. I, I do feel like Spencer has the edge here. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. The dude's a collector. Dude, I played Barbies until I was way too old. So I think I'm actually really gonna be good today. I'm gonna get 100. Nope. If there's questions about like, you're a stupid, stupid kid, and there's like a hundred collectible like little thingies, like Mighty Beans, like Pokemon. I'm in. Otherwise, okay. I'm fucked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, our categories today are Come On Barbie, which yeah. is all dolls, doll related. Not just Barbie, but Odd One Out. These are weird toys. So, so Tommy, maybe that is your category. Oh, you oh, fucking that's weird stuff. Weird uh, stuff. Does your toy even lift, bro? That's action figures. Not dolls. Love those guys. Heading to Hollywood, that's all media based around toys, TV shows, movies, the like. Uh, and more than a teddy bear is all stuffed, stuffed toys, stuffed animals. Stuff about stuffed stuffed. bras. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I should clarify, we're not doing, there's no games. This is like toys. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, like kind of what you see around you, you know? Like, yeah. That all right. Merchandise. It's, yeah. it's more merchandise related. Little guys. Exactly. Right, little little right, guys. Right. Um, we'll determine who goes first by uh, who bought a toy last. That's a dirty question. <laughs> no, okay. Who bought any sort of collector's item type of, okay, Spencer. It has right. to be Spencer. <laughs> wait, wait, it's wait. gotta be Spencer. I bought some of the new Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Legos this week. Why did you do that? that does why count. did I do that? And why did I do That's that? That's kinky. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> all right, Spencer. Go ahead and pick a category. Show me Come On Barbie. Yeah! For That's 50. Right. For 50. That's right. Okay, here we go. A 90s ad campaign for Steve Madden shoes featuring models with big heads inspired the design for what controversial dolls? Uh, Spencer. It's gotta be Bratz. It is yeah. Bratz doll. Dang it. I loved Bratz. I couldn't, I couldn't get into Bratz. What can I say? Oh. I love to play. But I love their TikTok. <laughs> love to play. Oh my gosh, I loved Bratz. I didn't like that their feet could pop off. Like Didn't your, know their that. feet oh. would come off with the shoe and then instead of feet, they're just little knobs down there. Oh. I mean, that is a pirate. <laughs> I remember playing oh, a game you know with, my bar with my brats and it was like, they were like flirting with the like guys that they had crushes on and it was my sexual awakening. Okay. <laughs> you <created> your own. <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> Let's go to the other side of that spectrum. Does your toy even lift bro for 50? Woo. Okay. What patriotic toy was considered the first action figure? Courtney. It was, um, it wasn't G.I. Joe. It was, um, it was, uh, Freaking, not, no, no, no. It was the little, no, Star Wars, little Star Wars guys? Okay, no, they're not patriotic. Sorry. Spencer. I'm gonna say G.I. Joe. It was, in fact, G.I. Joe. Did I'm so sorry. It. It. I normally would give it to you just by saying it, but you, you specifically said it's not. It's not G.I. Joe. Uh, so there I might remember, be a. I thought I watched yeah. something saying G.I. Joe wasn't the first, but. There I don't might know. have been like a name, like a precursor name, yeah. like Action Guy or something like that. Yeah, yeah like when I think guy. of G.I. Joe, I think of the bigger ones that you could put the clothes on. And stuff. I love those, oh. yeah. So the term action figure was created specifically by G.I. Joe to. Uh, separate them from dolls. They didn't want them to be known as dolls. They wanted them to be an action figure. All right, Joe. All right, Joe. Anyways, we Spencer, did it, Joe. Spencer, you now have 100 points. <laughs> Let's do heading to Hollywood for 50. Bronies are adult male fans of what toy-based TV show? Uh, Tommy. My Little Pony. That is correct. Oh. It is My Little Pony. Ew. You know who is a brony? Who's a brony? Our very own Jackie Uwe. Oh. She's a brony? She's a brony. I loved her. Didn't know that. Honey. You don't even have to be a guy. Oh. I'm a honey. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, go ahead. More than a teddy by 50, please. What customizable toy company calls their executives the bears and their offices the bear quarters? Courtney. Build-a-bear? That is correct. Yeah. It is Build-a-bear. Those are so expensive. I had a Build-A-Bear, and then one time I was trying to pretend I was at a hairdresser, and I put a little dust lamp on its ear, and then I came home and then the ear was burned off. Huh? You tortured your bear. On accident, <laughs> it was an accident. You left it in the lamp, and uh, you you didn't just watch it, you just did that and left the house. Oh, he's bleaching your hair. It takes a long time. Okay. I always, Build-A-Bear was something that I always saw, and I was like, that's so cool, I love the whole like, Thing, but I knew the finished product wouldn't be. There weren't, a, yeah, there weren't enough options for me. I didn't like yeah. that they wore shoes. 
Uh, <laughs> screw it, let's do odd one out for 50. What toy was originally named Funny Face Man? Arasha. Mr. Potato Head? That is correct. Whoa! Funny Face Man. Let's go. I don't right. have any memories with Mr. Potato Head. He was not part of your sexual awakening. No. <laughs> Arasha, go ahead. Sorry. Come on, Barbie, for 100. Yeah. Let's go party. Chris Wiggs made the first Polly Pocket in 1983 for his daughter and used what type of makeup container for its house? Courtney. A compact? That is correct. Wow! Damn, it was a, a powder compact, mm -hmm. but yeah, a compact. Okay, creative. Wow. Way to love. Go. Yeah, All right. We were talking about those yesterday, or two days. So I was talking about Polly Pockets with someone. I love those. I love little things. That yeah, I love like little things. Tons of little details. Love to play. All right, Courtney. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's do. Um, let's do uh, more than a teddy bear. One hundred. Okay. Legend has it that in 1996. John Gotti Jr., son of the New York mob boss, spent $8,000 on several cases of this giggling toy. Spencer. Tickle me Elmo? It's tickle me Elmo. That is correct. Oh! I knew it! Oh! I was like, I was like, Beanie Babies. No, they don't giggle. Then I was like, Furby? Kinda giggle? I thought Furby Not for Yeah, Furby. I, I was thinking Furby. Why, did, right. why did he do that? Spencer. I don't know. For Elmo? Yeah, why did he? It was man. super high in They're demand. They're putting jokes inside them. Elmos were like, didn't they like cause like like robbery or something like during like one holiday season? You're thinking of Turbo Man. No, it's Turbo Elmo. Uh, oh Spencer, go ahead and pick. Let's do odd one out for 100. The first toy slime sold in 1976 by Mattel came packaged in what? A mini trash can, a reusable coffee mug, a dinosaur egg, a tiny toilet, a witch cauldron. Uh, Arasha. The, what was the third one? The Di dinosaur egg. Dinosaur egg. It's not a dinosaur egg. Uh, Tommy. A toilet? It was not a toilet. Damn. Courtney. Trash can. Kidding, I guess. It was a trash can. That's was bad. Was giving dinosaur it was weird. egg? Was it, was it GAC? I don't know what it actually was, but uh, it was in a trash can. Whatever the first toy slime sold was in I a trash can. I thought GAC was the first toy. I was, I was well, gonna okay. say. <laughs> Let's do, cool. let's do, do, you even, do your toys, do you even, does your toy even lift bro for 100? What? <laughs> <laughs> the original Stretch Armstrong was filled with this sweetener to make him squishy and elastic. Uh, Spencer. Cornstarch? No. Courtney. Stevia. Stevia! <laughs> Stevia! Diet Stretch. Uh, Stevia! Uh, Arash or Tommy? Honey? was not honey, but that's, that's very funny. That's funny. funny. Bears <laughs> loved him. <laughs> Bears couldn't get enough He's of Stretch Armstrong. He's in the same a family. Tommy, you want to throw out a guess? A sweetener. Yes. Maple was filled syrup. with this sweetener. Corn syrup. Corn syrup. What, did yeah, I say corn syrup? Yeah, go, go, go. Did I say corn, corn syrup? syrup? You said corn starch. Oh, yes. Corn syrup. You guys are doing the family feud thing. That's fine. You're allowed to help each other. <laughs> Corn syrup. Good answer. Corn syrup. Good answer, good answer. That is correct. Yeah! Is... Yes, We're gonna take it home. Yes, yes. Corn We're syrup. Like, we said like corn starch and it was like, Cause no. Cause it's like sand. I gave it away. Here's the thing, I don't even know what corn starch is. Starch. I don't know, I don't what, know, I don't know what that is. is. I've definitely used corn starch in things. Corn starch is more of a powder. It's a thickener. Does yeah. it become syrup? Oh, uh, you have to mix it with stuff to make yeah, it. Yeah, like if you have like a like a juice, if you wanted to make it like into a more thick of like a sauce or gravy, you add cornstarch. Okay. Or Thank flour. You, yeah. uh, I'm anyways, I'm Tommy, go oh, ahead. Oh my God. Hollywood for 100. <laughs> Fans went wild over photos of Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling filming for the new Barbie movie in Venice Beach. What were they seen doing? Uh, Courtney. Roller bl sk bl sk blading. Roller blading. Roller sk yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would have taken either. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it was roller blading. Yay. Yes. Nice. Is it where nice. Ryan Gosling's getting slapped? I think we're about to see a cultural shift from that movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're halfway through. Uh, it's time for a point check in. Oh, sorry. Spencer, you have 200 points. Uh, Tommy, you have 150 points. That's what I'm talking about. Right Arasha, you have 50 points. <laughs> okay. I'm here. And Courtney, you have 350 points. How? Yeah! Whoa. Uh, Courtney, you get to you get to pick. Okay. Can we do an Does your toy even lift bro for 150? Mm -hmm. What actor has had the highest number of characters they've played made into action figures? A. 
Harrison Ford, B, Samuel L. Jackson, C, Sylvester Stallone, D, Angelina Jolie, E, Johnny Depp, uh, Arasha. I'm gonna go Johnny Depp. Tommy. I'm gonna say Sylvester Stallone. No. Wow. Courtney. Who's B? Uh, B. Samuel L. Jackson. B. That is correct. You're Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. He's played a lot of very different roles. Yeah, so Samuel L. Jackson is at 11 characters turned into action figures. Makes sense, you've got Mace Windu, you've got Nick Fury. Frozen. Fuck yeah. Yeah, he's he got a bunch. Frozen? It just makes sense. <laughs> Incredibles. It's all right. Uh, Courtney, go ahead. Um, odd one out for 150. Slinkies were found to be useful as more than just toys during the Vietnam War, when soldiers began using them as what? A, forks, B, radio antennas, C, slingshots, D, tripwire, E, fencing. Uh, Arasha. Tripwire. Spencer. Uh, radio <laughs> antenna? That is correct. Ah, We're so back. Radio antennas. Fascinating. Wow. Makes sense though. Yeah, because the way sound travels on it, it sounds like it would do This is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spencer, go ahead. Let's do heading to Hollywood for 150. We can thank which US president for the Transformers cartoon and wildly popular toy series, which premiered in 1984. Spencer. <sighs> probably, probably Ronald Reagan. That is correct. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So Reagan. His administration <laughs> deregulated television to allow for licensed characters in children's shows. I was All thinking right. like the most like Reagan-esque shit has gotta be like Transformers and like G.I. Joe, like all yeah. those shows. And the Soviet Union's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. these are so awesome. <laughs> uh, Spencer, go ahead. Uh, let's do Come On Barbie for 150. These dolls were so in demand in 1983, they caused a series of store riots around the US. Tommy. American Girl Dolls. Arasha. Barbies. Courtney. Susie Talks A Lot? No. Spencer, it's 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 down to you. Again. Cabbage Patch Kids? It is No way! Kids. And that, that's one that I knew. I like I to play. About that. I like to play. I came here to play. I like to play. <laughs> they were so popular that in these store riots, shoppers suffered broken bones, were trampled, and many attempted to bribe employees in efforts to get a Cabbage Patch Kid. Uh, in fact, I feel like Turbo Man was based kind of all, uh, weirdly off of like that stuff. I can't say that for sure, but I remember hearing about it. Jeez. Breaking your bones for that ugly ass doll? It's, the they're, uh, they're truly doll. ugly. Yeah. And then I they made ugly it. dolls. Remember those? Which ones? They're still around. Ugly dolls? Ugly no, I think those are purposefully ugly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Spencer. Let's do more than a teddy bear for 150. In 1999, a divorcing couple made headlines by splitting up their collection of what under the supervision of a judge. Courtney. Beanie Babies. It is in fact Beanie Baby. Dude, the picture yep. is so there's funny. A, there's a photo of it and it is insane. They're, They're on the floor. <laughs> they are on the floor in the courtroom splitting them up. It's chaos. Hey, they were, um, they were destined Beanie for greatness. Babies. I loved Beanie Babies back then. I had a bunch and McDonald's had their line. Dude, yeah, it was important uh, to get there and get them. Dude, happiness. remember when McDonald's like their limited edition toys stuff was like actually really good. Like when they did the yeah. little porcelain doll things. Yeah. Their like, Pokemon, or that was Burger King. The, but it was a big Burger deal. Burger King medal, mm -hmm. gold medal, oh. Uh. All right, uh, Courtney. Okay, um, let's do, uh, let's do Come On Barbie for 200. Barbie went to space how many years before actual humans landed on the moon? That's oh, huge. I know this one. Okay, Arasha. 16 years. Tommy. I'm gonna say five years. Courtney, Spencer. Oh. Did I buzz? Two years? It's not two years. It's a tough question. It's a brutal, it's a br brutal question. Nine years. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to, to Tommy. <gasps> Uh, the answer was four. You oh. said five. You were so close that I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go ahead because it's a tough number question. Thank you. Yeah. Nobody knows that. Barbie, so, 1964. Like a, a president announcing like we are gonna do this soon, and then Barbie being like, yeah. JFK put it? Barbie on the moon. So so, true. so Barbie became an astronaut in 1965, four years before the infamous 1969 moon landing. Uh, Tommy, go ahead. Uh, let's do odd one out for two two hundy dv. Which toy was banned from the National Security Agency premises in 1999? So the NSA was like, we can't have this toy on our premises. Too dangerous. Courtney. Furby. That is correct. What? Whoa, <laughs> that makes so much sense. The NSA feared that the popular toy could record speech, making it a security threat 
should it start talking classified. However, Furby's toy company quickly cleared up the rumors with the spokesman explaining that the furry little guys could not record voices. I remember that being such a thing, like everyone was like, yeah, if you say words around your Furby enough, it will say it back. And I was like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm sure that's true. There were so many weird rumors about Furbies and what they could do. I oh, actually might have believed it until just now when I was told it wasn't true. Yeah. I had a Furby and I, I, I loved it at first. I was so stoked because everyone <laughs> had Furbies. And then after a while, after months, I was like, I kind of hate this thing. And the, the final straw was I had it high up on like a, a cupboard or like a shelf in my, my, my bedroom. And I was asleep one night and in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. Yep. Out of nowhere, <gasps> it just went off and was just, I look up and just see this lit up thing just ah, like, like I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I, you're, go, you're done. And some would work even with the batteries out. Like people were freaked out. What? Yeah, there was stories. I had a recurring nightmare that my house, I would wake up and my house was on fire and I would like come out and there would just be a Furby melting in the fire going. That explains ah, 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 so, ah, ah, with so much. That is, that's, that is that's Tommy's personality. Yeah. That is uh, there is, in fact, a Furby right there. This yeah, is like this a, is the one that copies your voice. This is like a cheapo cutie yeah, baby. Yeah, they're that... not as scary as they used to be. Watch this. <laughs> Arasha is an idiot. <laughs> that bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Oh god, stop, 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 stop. Turn it off. Courtney, go ahead. So you're not an idiot. Uh, <laughs> your toy even lifts, bro. 200. In 1994, a line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures was released wearing uniforms from what other out of this world franchise? Courtney. Power Rangers. No, good guess though. I like that. Arasha. Space toys. No, Arasha. Space toys. I think you should be more specific. Yes. Astro toys? Mm. All right, Tommy? Star Wars? It's not Star Wars. <laughs> oh! Spencer? Is it Star Trek? It is Star Trek. I'm gonna kill Whoa! somebody, I just whispered that to Tommy! That was also the only thing left, I feel like. Yeah, I was yeah. not gonna, I thought, I thought Courtney got it for sure with Power Rangers. Uh, no. What a it, weird time of uh, 94 for too. Star Trek. So the reason is the, the toy company had licenses to both series. Wow. I let awesome. my dad down. Uh -oh, you let us down. You, yeah. You know. I'm sorry. Uh, Spencer. Uh, let's do Heading to Hollywood for 200. This toy inspired movie features Wonder Woman on the big screen for the very first time. Arasha. Toy Story. Spencer. Lego Batman. Nope. Tommy. Spencer said Lego Batman, but he didn't say the Lego movie. I'm gonna say the Lego movie straight up. That is correct. Damn. Whoa! It is the Lego movie. 2014's the Lego movie. Prior ah. to that, Wonder Woman had only been shown on television. How about that? There you go. Wow, that's awesome. That's All right, awesome. Tommy, go ahead. Oh, Shane, we've got to do more than a teddy bear. <laughs> There's nothing left. In 2007, a rumor swept across playgrounds that a hacker was doing what to children's beloved webkins? Arasha was on those Arasha. Playgrounds. Starving them. Uh, starving them? Is that, uh, Courtney? Stealing them. Tommy? Making them sexy? No, Spencer. I don't even know what a webkin is. What? Well, they're not sexy. What? I actually don't know what a webkin is. Is it a, what? Is it an IRL thing? It's a yeah. stuffed animal that gives you access to a website and when you scan, you, when you put your little webkin stuffed animal mm -hmm. tag code in, then you had a digital version of it and then it was like Neopets, but with your little A whole animal. new world. Were they, were the, they were making the, the Neopet, or the webkin spy on them? No. No. So no one gets this. Uh, Arasha, you were close, I think. Uh, the, 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 the answer was murdering them. Oh. Um, Come on. It was proven to be false, but this rumor swept everywhere. Give it to you, girl, for having having many webkins back in the day. Aww. Aww. How many webkins do you think you had? Um. Well, I didn't have like a bunch of money, so sure. maybe like five. I don't know. I don't know. If I know some people literally had like fifty. Like oh. it was yeah. like in their room. I wish, but I'm gonna say that I probably had like five. Before we get into this final final question, 
Uh, let's do a little point check in here. Uh, Spencer, you have 850 points. That's Whoa! illegal. Wow. That's illegal. Tommy, you have 550 points. And that's not illegal. Uh, <laughs> Arasha, you have 50 points. <laughs> now, at the beginning of this episode, you said you were gonna get 100 points. So you still have not done that yet. Man. And Courtney, you also have 850 points. Whoa! What? Whoa! It's a brat! It's time for Final Beppardy here. And as you can see, there are three toys in front of me. I want you to rank them from least to most expensive based on current market values and sales and whatever. Uh, so what we have here, we have a 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh card, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Wow. We have a 1999 Scorch the Dragon Beanie Baby. And we have a 1989 Star Trek USS Enterprise model kit. Also, include the dollar amount. If we need to, if it comes to a tie, we'll, uh, we'll judge based on who guesses closest to how much these are worth. <sighs> Not feeling too confident about these, Shane. Sorry, Spencer. Thought I liked to play. Turns out you don't really play, man. <laughs> All Sorry. right. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Reveal your boards. Okay. So Spencer, you're saying the least expensive is the Yu-Gi-Oh card, followed by Scorch the Dragon Beanie Baby, <laughs> <laughs> followed by uh, uh, the USS Enterprise. Um, the turtles are in there, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are in there. You think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah. are in there. Okay, so uh, Tommy, you put BCA. Arash, you also put BCA. Uh, now, Courtney, I think you're, okay, you did least expensive at the bottom, that's, so you put the Beanie Baby as the least expensive, followed by Star Trek, and Yu-Gi-Oh as the most expensive. So, Spencer, Courtney, you have differing ones, Tommy, Arasha, you guessed the same lineup. So let me read to you how much these are actually worth, okay. and what's the most expensive. So, coming in at the least expensive is the 1999 Scorch the Dragon Beanie Baby. At uh, $15. Uh, Courtney, oh, you also shoot. got that correct. Yes. I said $35. Um, now, let me be clear, that's very specific to this. Uh, it's averages about $15 without a tag. With the tag, uh, it was sold for $6,000 last year. But Whoa. this one doesn't have the tag. Second is the Star Trek USS Enterprise. Damn. It is $25. <gasps> <gasps> but, but you did guess $25 correctly. That's pretty cool. Hey. Thank you. And the most <laughs> expensive here is the 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh card, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Courtney. This type of card in similar condition sold for $80,000 in 2020. Whoa! So, you know, there's real, there's no real barometer of how much a, a What are we doing worth. here? I definitely have one of those I want a Christmas house. bonus, awesome. let's get rid of it's this also, card. It's in mint condition, Wait, it's, yeah. in a little, it's in a little cover. So with that, we now have our final scores here. So, Spencer, you did really great. You got 1,050 points. Wow. Yeah. All right. yeah. Really good, really uh, good. Tommy, you ended up with 850 points. We gave you an extra 100 points for getting the correct $25 amount. They're all worth the, $25. Uh, Star Trek model kit. Yeah. Uh, Are you kidding? Arash, at the beginning of this game, you said you were gonna get 100 points. Uh, you were incorrect because <laughs> you got 250 points. Yay! Whoa! Wow. And nice. uh, Courtney, you got 1,450 points. Whoa! Making you the winner of Beppardy Toy Trivia. Wow. Yay! Really good SAT score. Playing toys for Pretty way awesome. too long has paid off. Yeah, that's dirty. Well, uh, way to go, guys, and thank you for watching. And let us know in the comments what other types of categories you want us to cover. Um, I need to go sell this bad boy. <laughs> thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.